Hey peeps, it's Knox and it is mail day. Before we get started on that, I'm going to go over a couple of things. Uh, first things first, as I always say, I do have neuropathy in my hands, so it does make me make weird stretchy motions randomly throughout the video. So if you see that, that's all that is. I also have several people who live in my home, uh, children, roommates and such. So if you hear them moving around, someone knocking on my door, that's uh, what that is. And lastly, and most importantly, my channel does support LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, inclusiveness, and diversity in general. If that is something that does not sit well with you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you who stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So, first things first, this big glute. You know, I grabbed my scissors and then I, there we are. <laughs> so I think this is my package from Arteza. I'm not completely sure though. I never thought I'd get to the point where I couldn't exactly remember where my packages were from, but here I am. All right. So whatever it is, it's packed in what looks like recycled paper. I'm not sure if it actually is, but it looks recycled, so it would be nice if it is. There we go. Yes, this is my Arteza order. So I used to do painting when I was younger, but I haven't done it in a long time, and I never got the hang of watercolors. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that my access to watercolors consisted of Crayola. So I got this small pack of nicer ones. It's only 12 colors because I really didn't want to buy an expensive one if it turns out it's still something I'm not interested in doing. But I thought I'd give it a shot and uh, if I make anything worth showing I will probably put it on my Instagram page. The information for that should be down in the description box. So I'm gonna pull that out and then I also got, because I can use this whether I like watercolors or not in the long run, a new waterproof a uh, sketch pad and it this one is um hardcover i have other sketch pads but they are not hardcover so it does tend to flop around a little bit when i'm using it so i thought this would be nice and for some reason this color um was a little cheaper than the other ones of the same style and honestly i don't care what color this is i i care about the contents and the quality and uh I think that should cover that. Let's actually bust these open and take a look at them real quick. Because I don't think we can tell much through the plastic. <laughs> so, uh, how is everybody doing right now? Like, I know a lot of people are struggling because of the winter weather. If you're watching this in the future, then you're no longer dealing with it, hopefully. But as of right now, it is February 16th when I'm recording this. Um, most of the country is freezing and it looks like places like Texas that aren't used to having cold weather are really suffering for it. Does this come off easily? No, I think I'm gonna have to struggle with that. That's all right. So nice hard cover. Oof. First page is already kind of wrinkled, so that's okay. I'll make this like a cover page or something. Nice thing thick stock pages. They are perforated, so you can take them out if you want, which I almost never do, but if I was so inclined to, I could. All right, so the rest of these pages look okay. It's a little scrunched up here in, there it goes, in this corner, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I never go all the way to the edge in case I wanna create a border. So yeah, I like this, this will do. Oh, there you go. And then let's open up these watercolors. Not sure if you guys were interested in seeing watercolors. I did mention that I was gonna be doing multiple crafts on here. I will be primarying diamond painting, but uh, I have to maintain my hobby co uh, of collecting hobbies. <laughs> And I've had some ideas in my head for some paintings I want to do. And I think watercolors would work really well for that. I am going to put something over 
my diamond painting here though in case this has powder spewing out I don't want that on my drills all right so comes with one water brush pen let's see if I can open this you guys are gonna watch me struggle in this video so that's pretty cool I've never played with one of these I'm gonna have to I'll put this up here so you guys can see a little bit better well if it'll focus come on there we go so yeah I've never had one of these before I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit see if I like it um, I actually think I can have some pretty good uses for this um, so that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know it came with that when I got the uh, watercolors. All right, let's see what's in here. Nice uh, tin casing. And instruction booklet. Test palette for all your different colors. So that that's nice. And then of course your different watercolors, which do come out of the 10. So like I said, I only got a small pack. I just want to try it out. If I like these, they've got um, several different, well, I don't know if they have several different sizes, but they do at least have one larger size that came with like, I think 45 colors. They may have larger ones. I don't remember off the top of my head because I was really focused on just getting a small pack to start with. So I will be sure to let you know what I think of these after I have used them. So let's put this away and get into the next package. I am very excited about the next package. Oh, you don't want to watch me put that back in the box. We'll just put it over here. And that is what I was afraid of. <laughs> wasn't powder but there was definitely something in there all right so the next one comes from sparkle queen creations now you've probably hopefully already seen my unboxing of the diamond paintings with my co-host virgil from sparkle queen creations in fact that's what uh our background today i am currently working on my canvas for that but she has released some pretty nifty accoutrements to diamond painting and I had to have them by the way in case you haven't seen that video it's always lots of little attentions to detail here so little stickers that say thank you fragile handle with love you know the do not bend stickers I love the happy mail sticker I want to know where she gets those I want happy mail stickers if I ever want to mail people things and just this package in general is adorable all these like colorful rainbowy spots that look like candy it's making me hungry all right so got a card sparkle queen creations be the queen of your sparkle with all of her information on it which I will also put in the description box if you haven't don't have a chance to jot that down while I showed you. I will also put the stuff for Arteza and anything else that gets unboxed. Oh, sticker time. Rainbow poop. Everybody needs a rainbow poop. And rainbow peace sign. I may give that to my mom. My mom is a very proud hippie. All right. So let's get this is very tightly packed in here. Okay. I don't think anything would break. Like, I don't think anything would dare to break in here. Oh my God. Rainbow duct tape. It is sealed with rainbow duct tape. So we're going to start with what's in here. So no good. I don't have to tear. I don't like tearing these. So I like reusing these bags. All right. Everything, obviously, from Sparkle Queen Creations is going to be bright and colorful. Whew. Okay, so those go with those. And this is the other thing I ordered. This is the thing I wanted to show you. 
and apparently paper is more talented than I am. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I got a cutie little cub reminder. So, little pink ice cream octopus. So, I wanted to get a blue one, but they were all out, but the pink one was still very cute. So I had to have one of these. I, I love octopus slash octopi, depending on what side of the debate you are on that one. Although both are acceptable. But yeah, I like squids, octopi. I don't know why. I just do. I also like owls and foxes. I like a lot of things. I'm going to have to cut through this. I was hoping to not cut through it, but... That is duct tape. It is doing its job. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut a lot more than that. <laughs> oh man, guys. So I'm going to rename today's from mail day to struggle day. That won't sell as well, so maybe not. All right. So these are super cool. I got two of them. <sighs> There's magnets on the bottom. That's why they're sticking. So that's what these go for. So it's a little tray for your trash or candy or whatever you want to put in this. Um, it's also, you know, cover minder. So if you want to use it as a cover minder, you just pull one of these numerous, extremely strong magnets off and then all set to be a cover minder. Or you can use this as its own cover minder. There's plenty of magnets here if you want to use both as their own cover minder simultaneously too. Now this white one is glow in the dark and it's not just normal glow in the dark, it is sparkly glow in the dark. I will try to put a picture up in the corner or in the whole screen depending on what it really takes to get the full visual um, so you can get a view of what it looks like while it's glowing in the dark. Oh, it's the only other one. And then I got this tray because it is a heat color changing tray, which I will also put a picture up in the corner or all around, depending on what needs to be done. Uh, so you can see what it looks like between the color shifts. You can see a little bit already just from me holding it. My hands must be warm. <laughs> see, just that little bit that I was holding on to. This one is the dark purple shifts to coral. Um, there was a purple turns to pink. Um, orange turns to yellow. I don't remember all of them. Um, there's not very many of these left. So if you want to snag one, I would suggest doing so quickly. Ooh, these, it just changes so easily. It's, it's turning pink all over for me holding it. So. Maybe I don't need to show you the picture. <laughs> I think that, that, that did it all by itself. All right, so that's all I've got for me in front of me, but I know I have more things coming in. So um, if I do, then I will insert those clips right here. All right, this next package comes to us from Black Wolf Woodworks. This is my first pen from him. If you uh, watched my DP pen stash challenge video, um, I did show the blanks that I had ordered and now I'm starting to get the pens. So I ordered them one at a time. So they're going to come in one at a time, which just means, you know, more unboxing videos. So let's get into this. I have been looking forward to this pen. Like you have no idea. I have uh, developed a huge love for diamond painting pens and I am... I'm an avid lover of Donna Bass pens, but I'm also excited about expanding and the pens over at Black Wolf Woodworks are just gorgeous. I, I can't even tell you. Definitely go follow the information I'll put in the description box and check it out for yourself. Um, oh my God, the sparkle already, guys. All right, this one was labeled True Love's Kiss. And it is a uh, red dyed, um, I forget what kind of burl off the top of my head, red, black, and white resin with mica. Let's see if I can get you 
and good lighting to see the sparkle here, if my camera will focus. Most of this one looks like it's actually the wood, as you can see from the line right in here. So this part right here is where most of the resin is. It is so pretty. It's not the best lighting. Let's maybe further back, but there we go. It's a little better. Not catching all of the sparkle on the camera, but I think you guys get the idea. And this cut is very, very elegant. All of them are very elegant. I was actually watching a video where he was talking about doing this particular style pen, uh, pen tip. And I was actually really hoping at least one of my pens would get it. So I'm really glad it's the first one. So yeah, super happy with this. Shouldn't be very comfortable to hold. It's a little different than the ones I'm used to. So I may have to adjust how I hold it. I have a more of a angle this way and I'll have to angle more like a writing pen, which shouldn't be a problem. Just uh, have to change my mindset there. So every time I think I've seen all the sparkle, there's more sparkle in here. <laughs> so yeah, this is excellent quality. Uh, came with a single placer and um, uh, I'm not as good at telling these thicker ones. I think it's a seven placer. Yeah, looks like a seven placer. So thank you so much to Black Wolf Woodworks for my new pin. Um, if there's any more packages to open, the uh, they'll follow after this uh, this portion of the clip. If not, I'll send you back to the main video. Thanks, guys. All right. Next up, we have a package from Gina over at Filament Fanatics. Um, like everything else, it'll be linked down in the description. Now I ordered a tray from her, but she said she sent me some extra stuff because she is super sweet like that. Um, I'm not sure what it is yet. Um, I do know it involves some color changing filament, so I'm excited about that. Um, let's see, make sure there's nothing with my name on it in here. If it is, it's really deep in there, so we're going to see what's going on. All right, lots of bubble wrap. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a pen. So she's been um, recently creating a bunch of new stuff uh, with her 3D printer. And I wonder if this is the color changing filament. Let's see, try to get warm. My hands aren't warm, so <laughs> we'll see. Usually my hands run really hot, so maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure if this is the one, if it, it might be. I'll let you guys know as I use it but nice and thick. It's purple. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. Red and orange are my top favorite colors, but like blues and purples and greens quickly follow. I pretty much just like color. I like lots of color. Although I do like black. I, I, I think I just like color. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I'll have to throw some uh, placers in it and give it a shot. I think the only thing complaint I really have about it if I'm doing an honest review is there's a lot of these little filament pieces I don't know if you can see these little specks here um because of the neuropathy in my hands I'm very sensitive to little um marks like this but I might be able to use I might be able to lightly sand it down I might try it on a small bit in case I'm wrong um, but it is very adorable. I think that's really cute. Very creative way to, uh, use your filament. I love the thick pens too. All right. So let's see what else is in here. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's really wedged in there. Just don't want to make, I want to make sure there's no, nothing with my name on it. All right. So, oh, cute. All right, so this is the tray I ordered. Um, I had ordered one of these before. Um, and while I love the tray itself, these lines here um, that hold the drills didn't go all the way to the back. 
And so a lot of the drills were getting stuck back here and um, I was having issues getting everything back in its tub when I was done with it. Um, so I let her know about that and she started making new trays that go all the way to the back. So I thought I'd give it another try because I like the big wide tray. Um, I wanted to see some of the trays I have um, when I go to put them back into its tub. They slide down, um, but because they've got to slide so far down, they then get enough force that they slam against the bottom wall and go flying out of the tray. Um, so I was wondering if maybe this slowly funneling might help that particular issue. Um, so I will let you guys know how that turns out. And then the other little goodie she sent me is this cute little cover miter of a seashell, which actually goes really well with uh, the mermaid tail one that she sells in her shop as well. So super adorable. Thank you, Gina. Let's see, test magnet strength here. Okay, so it's a tiny magnet, but it's one of the silver ones. So a little stronger than your average black ones. Seems to be glued on there pretty well. Colors are super cute in here. I'll let you guys get a closer look. So we got like greens and orangey yellows, a little bit of grayish blues up here. Very pretty. Starting to get a small collection of cover minders here. I don't even hardly use them, but I still love collecting them. Um, I, I have a feeling I'm going to end up that way with washi tape. I don't have any washi tape soon, but I've been eyeing it. I would, don't really have much use for it. Occasionally I think I would, but I uh, have a tendency to collect pretty things. Um, and diamond painting is not helping me with that habit. Sorry about that noise. That was my dryer. When it finishes, it makes a loud buzzing sound. And my room's right across the street from the dryer. Street? Hall. Right across the hall. Um... <laughs> You know, as much traffic as that hallway gets, it might as well be a street. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this chunk. I'm going to send you to the next video for the rest of mail day. Thanks. All right, guys. So that's all I've got for you on this go, but definitely stay tuned. I have another exciting mail day coming up here in the near future. Um, let's just say I went a little wild with new diamond painting pens. Don't judge me. Or do. I, I'm not sure. I really care. But uh, they are going to be gorgeous and I'm very excited to share them with you. And one of them is a present for Virgil. Very, very early birthday present. And I will have him here to open it so you can see his reaction yourself. So if you uh, like this video, want to see more mail day videos or any other kind of video for that matter, please let me know down in the comments. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, and give me an idea of you know, what you want to see on this channel. I'm going to put a bunch of things that I like on this channel, but I also want to put things that you guys like on this channel. So yes, definitely comment me, comment me below and I will learn to speak English any day now. But on that note, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell. You want to be notified when I put my videos out because I do not work on a schedule. I am the agent of chaos. Chaos being children, medical conditions, and attention problems. And who the hell knows what else. <laughs> so if you want to be informed when my videos are, definitely hit the bell. Make sure that you get notified when they come in. And uh, either way, please like the video if you liked it. Don't like it if you didn't like it. I'm all good. I need, you know, a, a thumbs down still lets me know what's going on, what you guys do and don't like. I do ask if you do give me a thumbs down. Also put in the comments why. Just be polite about it because I'm human. I'm not trying to piss anybody off. I'm just trying to put cool content for you guys. On that note, I'm going to go. So you guys have a good morning or a good afternoon, a good evening or a good night. Love you all. Peace out.